Hello and welcome, Janet Beckers here. Today is video one in a series on something that's really special for me. It's the things that I believe in business. And it's not just things I believe in business. This is actually the 15 things that we use as a framework, a benchmark for are we actually walking our talking business? And I've made them public. They are on our website. If you go to romanceyourtribe.com and you look under where um, I've got about us, you'll see the list of we believe. And I use these and go back to them to make sure that am I actually creating this business to do what I say I'm going to do. So today we're going to be focusing on number one. And you know what? I, my, I challenge you to do the same thing for you. So go and have a look at the 15 that I've got and I really challenge you to do a similar exercise for yourself. What is it that you truly believe that you're going to be basing your core values on your business? I'd love to be able to see what you come up with. It's one of the things I help my clients do. Anyway, number one, our hot seat, our number one spotlight is the first thing is I believe in kindness. So that means that we attract a tribe of people who are kind and will under no circumstances ever tolerate any hatred, any bigotry, any racism, any nastiness. It will just never ever be tolerated. Now, how does this apply to you? So there's two things for you in your business. Now, number one, if Kindness is one of your core values, and for most people it is, but we'll talk about it in a minute when it may not be, okay? If it is, I want you to ask yourself, are you actually ever tolerating any kind of bullying? Are you ever to tolerating any kind of experience where people may be feeling like, oh, you know, I put something in your Facebook page or your Facebook group and other people attack me, but you don't defend them? If this is your space, if it is your email list, your membership site, your Facebook group, your public Facebook walls, if there is ever any kind of bigotry, making people feel small, anything that is not kind, you gotta call it out, baby. If you're gonna set yourself up to attract a tribe of people who really resonate with you, you have to be very, very strict on your boundaries that you will not tolerate it. Now, the interesting thing is it's exceptionally rare that I ever have to chastise people <laughs> um, in any of my groups or on social media. Exceptionally rare because I just do not attract those people. They know from the way that I operate that it's just... It's just not the place that you do it. So you, that's what you want to do. So if this is so, you need to defend that. And also always operate in that way. So never ever will you ever belittle anybody or do anything that could be an overt bigotry or racism. You've got to be kind. So because that's how you attract your tribe, you attract those people. Now, I also mentioned that there might be situations where you want to say, well, actually, no, that's not my core value. Now, I'm sure you, most, pe most people like to think of themselves as kind. But when we're looking at your business, for you, the kindness may not be the way that you want to express it. You might say and said, you know, we believe in encouraging people to say what they think. Now, I'm not saying I want people to hold themselves back, but they can say what they think, but they need to do it kind. You might be wanting to attract a people of rebels, people who say what they think and they challenge people. And in order to be part of your tribe, you've got to have a tough skin, baby. That might be your brand. So just because... This is mine and it is for a lot of people. Yours for your business may be slightly different. You know, you might say, speak your mind, confront people, say what you think, but don't be a jerk. That might be your version of being kind, okay? So be really clear on it because that is going to be acting as your direction for am I communicating the right way and am I, am I communicating in a way that attracts the people that I want to work with? because I only work with nice people, okay? 
I don't work with jerks. So um, that's what you, you want, you want to be clear on that because that's going to attract, your vibe attracts your tribe. Okay, so that was number one in my this series where we're going to go, I've got 15 things that we use as our core beliefs that have as a framework for the business. If you'd like to see those, go over to the romanceyourtribe.com site. There'll be a link somewhere here if you're watching this where there's where it is linkable. Um, otherwise, I would love to hear from you. Um, you know, how do you demonstrate kindness? Or... You know what actually is a better way for you to be able to express the equivalent that works for you in your business i would love to hear from you and if you want some help with this on getting clarity on your message and attracting that tribe of people who see you as the leader then that's what i do baby that's what i do so just drop me a message or an email tell me a bit about your business and what your goals are and i'll get back and let you know the best way that i can help okay go out there be kind <laughs> Bye.